I, I will not hear them, no? So I, I don't know. If... Yeah? Well, hello. Um, I'm uh, Juan from uh, from Antarctica 21. I, I worked in this company since uh, 2009. And um, uh, probably you can, uh, or you're asking yourself why Antarctica 21. Uh, basically because it's uh, the new uh, way to reach the Antarctica continent uh, from South America in the 21st century. Um, for Well, uh, just a little bit of um, of um, of uh, of um, uh, an information about Antarctica, as probably you are familiarized with it, um, most of the operations are done from South America, from Ushuaia in Argentina, uh, basically because uh, the distance uh, is uh, really uh, short, it's short distance, really 1,000 kilometers from Ushuaia till the Antarctic Peninsula, um, and um, basically because the Antarctic Peninsula is uh, presenting us the opportunity to see wildlife, um, heritage sites, uh, and of course the scenery of, uh, of Antarctica. Um, just as this information, you can place uh, seven times Europe in the Antarctica uh, continent. So it's, it's a really huge place uh, to, to discover. Um, uh, our company, uh, our company, start its operation in 2003. Um, the idea was to build uh, an air bridge in between South American continent, continent Patagonia, uh, with uh, the Antarctic Peninsula. Um, so uh, there's a, a two uh, entrepreneurs in Punta Arenas in Chile who had this idea to combine uh, an air operation with the crews in Antarctica. We are a 100% Chilean uh, company um, with uh, satellite offices in Santiago, Toronto, Italy, and France, uh, where myself are, are ba is based. And our headquarter is in Punta Arenas uh, in Chile. So um, we are a very small company. Um, uh, uh, as I said, the operation started in 2003 with only one voyage moving um, uh, 40 passengers. Uh, after 10 years, today we have one, 17 voyages and we move more than 150 passengers per year. So that gives you uh, an idea of uh, how we have been growing during uh, the last 10 years and um, the, the vision we have uh, for the future is uh, to still grow in our operation. Uh, we have been recognized as one of the most uh, innovative companies uh, in polar regions with this, uh, with this idea of flying crews with this model. And we are really focused in logistics because you can Imagine uh, that to combine uh, flight with the uh, crews is uh, is not so so easy. Those um, two gentlemen, Jorge and Jaime, are the owners. Uh, Jaime is the chairman of the board, uh, and they uh, they had this idea as uh, all good ideas uh, born in in a bar, having a beer and uh, trying to think about how things could be different. So they, uh, they get out with uh, uh, the Antarctica air cruises. Uh, probably you know that uh, crossing the Drake Passage could be uh, very rough. Uh, in any case, uh, you have two to three days sailing south and plus two to days sailing north. So uh, you spend, or your travelers will spend five days uh, uh, at sea um, with, uh, with maybe a bad sea. Uh, and uh, this is uh, 
our proposal. Our proposal is um, a two hours flight from Punta Arenas uh, uh, to, to King Jor Island, in South Shetland, where we're going to land. Uh, so this allowed us to avoid the big waves of the Drake Passage, uh, to get into Antarctica quickly and saving time in, in, in comfort. And uh, uh, we uh, and enjoying a small ship uh, experience. Uh, so the question is sailing or flying. Both uh, both um, options uh, have a degree of uncertainty um, because crossing the Drake Passage possibly have uh, heavy storms, or flying over the Drake Passage could also have. Uh, uh, a delays, but in any case, uh, our option uh, give to your uh, to your travelers a comfortable uh, way to reach Antarctica um, and have different uh, opportunity to explore uh, the rest of the South American continent and of course um, enjoy their meals and uh, a restaurant on the vessel. Obviously, the main thing is avoiding the sea sickness uh, uh, that could happen. Uh, in terms of a flight delay, you need to know that uh, could happen. Uh, during the season, we had uh, um, the last during the last season we had only one, but uh, it's something that uh, we need to be aware about it. Um, uh, when it happens, we have uh, in place a contingency plan. The contingency plan means that we are always standby to fly. Uh, a delay uh, for Antarctica 21, uh, you will see it uh, uh, it's happens if we fly the third day of our program, um, not the day the flight is scheduled. Uh, and we secure everything for uh, the travelers in terms of meals, accommodations, restaurants, activity, transfer. Everything is uh, secure for them uh, with uh, staff or with uh, Antarctica 21 staff. Uh, our programs um, mainly uh, are uh, the Antarctica, the classic Antarctica air crews which is seven days and six nights, uh, and the Polar Circle Air Cruise, which is nine days and eight nights, both starting with a flight from Punta Arenas to uh, King George Island in South Shetland. After uh, disembarking the, the private jet, we're going to embark our, our vessel. We're going to do the, the, the cruise all along the Antarctic Peninsula in the case of uh, the classic uh, Antarctica air cruise. We're going to sail from uh, South Shetland until Peterman Island, 63 degrees uh, Celsius. Is this degrees, uh, 62 degrees, I'm sorry, uh, until Peterman Island, um, visiting, uh, of course, many of the harbors of Paradise Bay, crossing the Lemaire Channel, going back to King George Island through Deception Island, uh, visiting Livingston Island to finally get again prey station and fly back to, to Punta Arenas. And the Polar Circle Air Crews um, will uh, sail south for uh, two more days until crossing the Antarctic Polar Circle. Uh, again, this one starting Punta Arenas flying into, into Antarctica. I'm sorry about the, about the slide. Uh, I have a Mac and sometimes the, the layout uh, change a little bit. But, um, so this is uh, our uh, dates and rates uh, for 2014-15 season. Um, so we have uh, the, the, first Antar the first Antarctica Express program is five days, four nights is the positioning of the vessel in, uh, in Antarctica. Uh, this one uh, particularly start in Ushuaia, sailing across the Drake Passage, but flying back uh, to Punta Arenas. Um, it's, they are really short, uh, and we will not reach uh, the Antarctic Peninsula. We will only uh, sail around South uh, Shetland. 
Um, of course, uh, we have a set of classic Antarctica air crews, seven days and six nights, and two polar circle air crews of nine days, eight nights. This is uh, our 2014-15 season. Um, we already have uh, our 15-16 uh, dates and prices. Uh, the difference in between uh, our 14-15 is that we add uh, polar circle air crews, so instead to have two, we're going to have three, three of them. So um, exactly the same operation, flying from Punta Arenas in Chile to, to King George Island in South Shetland, uh, boarding our vessel and doing our cruise. Uh, in all of our uh, programs, we have uh, adventure option as uh, sea kayaking in Antarctica, uh, limited to a group of 10 uh, passengers. Um, the equipment is provided. Uh, we have a kayak, a dedicated kayak master for the group with a dedicated uh, zodiac. Uh, and it's a very, very nice experience for those people who want a little bit more uh, an, an adventure doing uh, their expedition in, in Antarctica. Uh, uh, the same, uh, we have uh, uh, the option of snowshoeing. Uh, this only will be allowed to do it on the first part of the season, that means December and the half of January, uh, for a group of uh, 12 participants. And, and all, again, we're going to provide all the, the, the equipment, equipment, snowshoeing and the poles. So um, now I would like to present our product and uh, how, how we do it. Uh, these four points are our unique features and uh, it's make us to be really different in terms of uh, uh, delivering what, uh, what we want. Uh, first of all, we have a small ship. We have uh, a very quick uh, uh, and efficient uh, disembarkation for, for the expeditions. Uh, we have a group of uh, very experienced uh, staff, uh, expedition staff, and as I said before, we are a Chilean company and we are located near where we are all operating. So all those four points are really um, in a chain, they are really related, and that's uh, what it makes us uh, to deliver a very, uh, a very, very good and, and unique product. So again, I'm sorry about the slide, but um, we have a vessel called Ocean Nova. This uh, vessel is a very small ship vessel, so uh, we can have uh, an adventure, an advantage that uh, we really can have access to places where larger ships cannot. Uh, we can really get close to the shore and do our uh, landings even more efficient. And um, ha we have the opportunity to really take uh, 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 about uh, what Antarctica is showing us. If it's happened with whales, we can stay with whales. We can change our itinerary slightly in terms of uh, to see what is happening or to see really what is Antarctica is showing to us. Um, this related with our 67 uh, guests. Uh, we go all ashore at once. There's no group waiting uh, on board. Um, we have sev seven Zodiacs on board with 12 expedition staff. So um, people can enjoy more time in each uh, site we are visiting, uh, they can really interpret it, they can really have the time to take their own pictures um, because uh, of course uh, it gives us a lot of flexibility uh, to carry only 67 passengers. Uh, the same thing with the, the expedition staff, we have the highest ratio in the industry, there's 12 polar guides for 67 uh, passengers, we give us the uh, one per six uh, passengers, one staff per six passengers uh, ratio. Uh, they are from all around the world. Uh, the, 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 
the, the common they have is that their passion about polar regions. They are from New Zealand, from Spain, from uh, Australia, from Austria, from France, uh, from Brazil, from Chile, from the UK. So we have a large uh, different people working for us. Uh, most of them they've been working with us for the last five seasons. So they know exactly what Antarctica 21 wants to deliver and they are really doing it. Um, and of course to have the um, or, or to be a Chilean company give us the 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 advantage to have very good relations with the, the local authorities. Frey station is a Chilean station. It's uh, the one who runs the runway. Um, so uh, this uh, gives us an enormous security in terms of our our operation. Uh, so uh, as I said, everything will happen uh, or start in Punta Arenas, the most southern city of Chile. Uh, your travelers will arrive to Punta Arenas airport. There's going to be Antarctica 20 staff, uh, 21 staff waiting for them there uh, with our own transfer. Uh, we're going to transfer the first night uh, to this hotel, Hotel Cabo de Hornos. Uh, it's a four-star hotel in, in the center, the really, really center of, uh, of the city. It's a very, very modern hotel in the inside with a nice bar, with a nice uh, restaurant, sushi bar with the rooms uh, facing uh, the Magellan Strait and some other rooms facing the city. Uh, also, this is uh, the place where we're going to do our briefing that night, that day, the first day. So it's important for you to know that your traveler must arrive to Punta Arenas not later, later than 3 o'clock the first day of the program because there's many activities uh, during that uh, afternoon, especially the briefing. Uh, the briefing is about uh, safety and security, about uh, the IATO regulations in Antarctica, about all details they need to know in terms of their luggage, in terms of the transfer, the zodiac, so the so board and the zodiac. So, it's really, really important for them to be there. We're going to also uh, give them some, some uh, uh, interesting material about Antarctica, about birds, uh, about what they're going to see, about information about whales. Uh, we're going to provide them with a dry bag, uh, the one I re you are seeing on the slide. And of course, it's the moment where we're going to do the, um, the boot fitting. Uh, to to Antarctica. We only provide boots, we don't provide any parkas. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, this is an expedition, so the people when go to expeditions want to be prepared for, for that, so um, they probably want to go to the North Face store or, or, or another and, and buy their own, uh, their own gear. Uh, that day also we invite them to have um, a welcome dinner and a welcome uh, cocktail in this place called Jose Nogueira Hotel. Uh, it's uh, the oldest house in Punta Arenas. Uh, Jose Nogueira was the pioneer of, uh, of the, the, the lamb and the sheep business in, in Patagonia. It's a very beautiful house and for those who know the story of Shackleton, Shackleton, as soon as uh, he reached um, Punta Arenas uh, when he was rescued by the Chilean Navy in uh, Elephant Island. Um, she knocked, he knocked uh, this door for asking for, for help to Sarah Brown, uh, at that time uh, uh, Jose Nogueira's wife. Uh, next day we're going to transfer all I'm sorry, uh, and at dinner time we let them know uh, at what time is uh, the flight next day. So uh, obviously the second day of the program uh, we lead to, to the airport. Um, well, this is a, it's a very unique picture because uh, of course uh, not from, uh, there's only one uh, airport where you can take a flight to Antarctica, it, it is in Punta Arenas and it, it is with, with Antarctica 21. Um, so um, uh, boarding, it's going to be private in our jet, so the luggage is going to be taking care of the stuff, 
21, Antarctica 21 staff, and the boarding uh, to our private jet is uh, it's um, it's private. So uh, the aircraft is uh, uh, a British Aerospace 146. Uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, planes are um, conceived for short runways for windy conditions due uh, its uh, high wing and uh, of course it's very versatile in the air uh, uh, due to the four turbofans uh, they have. So um, if you have the opportunity you can see those kind of planes. Qantas uh, have uh, many of them uh, in Sydney airport in Perth due to the mining but uh, you can see them flying in, in, in Australia. Uh, it's ideal for what, uh, for what uh, we do for our operation basically because in Antarctica there's a very uh, short runway and sometimes the weather could be a little bit uh, uh, bad. Uh, so this is the an important moment uh, when when we are landing in, in Antarctica. As you can see, we land directly in Antarctica, and of course, uh, it's not a normal a normal airport. Um, so the disembarkation is very efficient. So uh, soon as they disembark, they're gonna meet immediately uh, their staff, the expedition staff. Um, and of course uh, we have our own operation uh, arriving in Antarctica with our own vehicles. Um, this is a vehicle conceived and, and really designed for and to Antarctica 21 to ideally move the luggage from the aircraft until the, um, until the vessel. We can have uh, wheels or caterpillars or you are seeing it. And, um, from the runway, there's going to be a walk for around 20 minutes until to reach the shore. So we can also use the vehicle for those people who don't want to walk until the shore, where all the zodiacs are waiting. Um, so the buildings you can you are seeing is a, a Russian station called Bellinghausen, and on the right side of the slide, uh, it's uh, the Chilean station called Frey. So as you can see, the really the expedition start with the flight start with that dinner uh, the first night of the program where they're going to have uh, the information about the flight. So um, as you can see, it's not the normal cruise. We are not really boarding our vessel uh, through the normal uh, standards, I mean in a, in a dock or in a, in a big sport. Uh, so arriving to the shore, uh, they will meet the expedition staff. Uh, the expedition leader, uh, he will uh, give them a short briefing about zodiacs, about the life jacket, and we're going to do the operation uh, to uh, board the, the vessel. Uh, our vessel is called Ocean Nova. Ocean Nova, uh, it's uh, a very modern uh, motor vessel. It was built uh, in um, Denmark in 2000, in, in, one, in um, 1992 in Denmark and complete renovated in 2006. So uh, we used this vessel with 35 outside cabins, five dedicated single cabins, 27 cabins and three triple cabins. The important things it has, it's a uh, uh, a very accessible gangway um, uh, due to this gangway we can really disembark all our guests at once in around 20 minutes. Uh, also um, we have this observation lounge with most of the time uh, the travelers will be. A normal day start at 7 with uh, a wake-up call uh, at 8, the, uh, breakfast is served. Uh, at 9, 9.30, we are doing our first landing uh, to be back uh, on the vessel again around 12, 12.30. Um, lunch, it's going to be served at the, their arrival. Then at 3, at 3, 3.30, depending on, on the weather and on the activity, we're going to do our second landing to be back around 6. 
and there's going to be a debriefing uh, on the day, uh, a briefing on the next day activities. We're going to have dinner, and after dinner, obviously, lectures. Lectures can be of, uh, of um, climatology, or history, or whales, or, uh, or a movie, or, or, uh, or the story of one of our staff who has been living in, in Antarctica for the last two years. Uh, there's a lot of um, different things we, we do in this place. Also, the bar is located in this um, in, in the observation lounge with a, a coffee, tea, water station, 24 hours. Um, everything is included in our programs. The, the transfer from Punta Arenas to the hotel, the flight to Antarctica, three meals, uh, break, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, with lunch and dinner, all uh, drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Non uh, bar is apart. It's bar must be bar is not included. Uh, all the excursions and the night back uh, after the expeditions in Punta Arenas also uh, uh, it's including uh, if you want it's going to be complimentary for 2014 and 15 season but uh, starting our 15 16 season it's going to be included in, in our program so it uh, for that season, uh, it's going to be an airport-to-airport -airport, um, expedition to Antarctica. Uh, there's another place in, um, in Ocean Nova. It's uh, the aft lounge. If you ever have a small group or a family, we can also uh, organize a special uh, event uh, there. Uh, cabins, uh, twin cabins, triple and single cabins, uh, all exteriors with a window, private facilities. Um, they are quite big. Um, please don't take care about, uh, about the, the cabin uh, presentation. It's, uh, it's not like that we, we, we normally um, uh, present the cabin for our clients. There's a lot of Antarctica 21 amenities and and others uh, and other and other things in, inside the cabin. Uh, the restaurant, uh, it's uh, you need to know that Ocean Nova was uh, conceived for night more than 90 passengers, and we are using it only for 67. So we have more space for for our travelers. Um, we have uh, a very Chilean uh, premium wine collection uh, of four white wines and four red wines. They are served at uh, lunch and dinner. Lunch, uh, it's a buffet, but uh, uh, it's served also. Uh, and dinner, it's served at the table with a menu of three different choices, um, uh, seafood and fish, meat and vegetarian. Um, so uh, just a little bit of uh, what we are uh, doing. Uh, of course, um, Antarctica is uh, an extraordinary place that can give you extraordinary moments. Antarctica receives uh, around 28,000 passengers per year. And uh, just a few of them, uh, if they travel with us, can take pictures or say that they flew uh, into Antarctica that they land into Antarctica, that they are doing an expedition in style uh, to Antarctica. Um, of course, as I said, uh, and do that we have only 67 passengers, a small ship, and that we have a lot of flexibility, we can really take uh, uh, time to discover, to take the pictures we want, uh, to come back with good memories from, from Antarctica, to home. Um, uh, we are very flexible in our itineraries. We can really uh, take our time uh, to discover, to do our zodiac cruising, uh, to, to, to really uh, enjoy the wildlife and, and take time to, to, to relax or, or to, to have a, a contemplation. Um, uh, this picture uh, says a lot about uh, what I was saying about uh, the advantage of being only 67 passengers because uh, things like that with bigger vessels 
or excursions like that with bigger vessels and cannot be cannot be done and uh, well this is a very particular moment I did the trip uh, uh, in, for my fourth time into Antarctica last February uh, and we were having dinner and uh, suddenly uh, a bunch of uh, minky whales were feeding uh, around the vessel and we stayed following them for around three hours and of course uh, we can come back with pictures like this ones home and to talk about it uh, to our friends and family. Um, unique moments we also uh, for the Braves we do the polar plunge, the famous polar plunge so um, if you ever have a, uh, done it before uh, you know that it's quite cold uh, we visit a lot of um, of uh, interesting places like uh, scientific stations or um, or military stations, depending on 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 weather, on, on the permissions. But uh, one thing is sure that uh, we try to give to the travelers as much as uh, as we can. Um, well, this is a normal group of, uh, of our trips. You can see that most of them are super happy. And um, we have uh, last season more than 48 nationalities on board. Uh, today, uh, Australia represents our second uh, biggest market, um, which I'm very proud of it. Uh, and. Uh, and uh, I invite you to, to, to travel with us, to, to pass the message to your travelers. Um, I think there's a lot of people there who give a lot of importance to their comfort and to a very nice and, and comprehensive trip to Antarctica. Um, so uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, my name is Juan Cristobal. I take care about Europe, Asia, and Oceania. Um, and please uh, you can contact me all the time through Cruisco, uh, one of my my preferred partners here in Australia and we're going to be very happy to help you to 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 book your clients to to your to our to our trips thank you very much and i hope you have a great uh, a great day uh, if you have any question, please uh, do not hesitate to send us your uh, uh, to send us uh, in. Uh, we'll answer them, and I will answer. I have many questions. Where? The microphone.